Hello everybody, myself, Yoti Vashist from Sudo School Radio. Today, we are going to discuss the topic alloy from the chapter metal and non-metal of class 10 chemistry. Students, alloys are the homogeneous mixture of metal with other metal or non-metal. Means in alloys, two or more metals or two or more metals with non-metal are mixes and form a homogeneous mixture that is called alloy. Alloys are of three types. Ferrous alloys, non-ferrous alloys and amalgam. Ferrous alloys means the alloys which, which contains iron as a constituents contains iron. Non-ferrous alloys which not contains iron as constituent. And amalgam are the, are the alloys which have mercury as a constituent. Ferrous alloys, the examples are steel and stainless steel. These two alloys contain iron as their constituent elements. That's why they are ferrous alloys. Non-ferrous alloys are brass and bronze. These don't have iron as their constituent elements. And amalgam, amalgam is the uh, mercury mixed alloys that means uh, any metal or any non-metal with mercury is amalgam like sodium amalgam like silver amalgam etc. Now why we need to make alloys? Students alloys are objectives to change the melting point of metals to change their tensile strength, to change their texture, to change their electrical conductivity, to change their thermal conductivity, to change their appearance, etc. For all these objectives, we need to make alloys. Some alloys are like steel. The constituent elements of steel are iron and carbon. In steel, iron is present in 99% and carbon 1%. Means if we mix iron and carbon in the ratio of 99 and 1, then we get an alloy called steel. Steel used to make vehicles, ship, etc. Stainless steel. It is somehow better quality than steel. In steel, the constituents are iron, chromium and nickel. Iron is in 74%. Chromium is in 18%. And nickel is in 8%. So if we mix these three metals in this ratio, then we get an, another alloy called stainless steel. Stainless steel is used to make utensils, cutlery, surgical items, etc. Some non-ferrous alloys like brass. Brass is the mixture of copper and zinc in the ratio of 80% and 20%. Brass have different appearance and different properties than their constituent elements. Brass is used to make utensils. Bronze. Bronze has the constituent elements as copper and tin. Copper is in 90% and tin is in 10% ratio. So if we mix copper and tin in the ratio of 90-10%, then we get bronze. Bronze is used to make utensils and medals and coins also. And another alloy 
is solder. It is the alloy of lead and tin in the ratio of 50-50%. So if we mix lead and tin in the ratio of 50-50%, then we get solder alloy. Solder have very low melting point. That's why it is used to weld electrical wires in electrical components. So like this way, alloys have different properties than their constituent elements. That's why we can use them in different, different ways. Thank you and have a nice day.